What's up, beautiful people? Uh, Nathan coming from Jakarta again. Uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video again today about a post that I put up uh, a couple of days ago talking about the keys of follow-up. I've uh, been getting a lot of questions from people recently about the follow-up process, what to expect, um, where they're going wrong, just some confusion around the, the process itself. And um, so I wanted to clarify a little bit of that for people and help them understand the keys to it and the, and the natural progression of it. Um, a lot of people think that things should be progressing a lot faster than they are and they want to, you know, they want to take people from the, their exposure to signing up as fast as possible. And I get that. Um, but the, the, the real key to get, I think that once you move from sort of a beginner to an amateur to a, a professional in this business, um, which I'm not yet, but I, I, I get, I'm sort of along that path, um, is understanding the process, loving the process, and understanding that these are human beings with like families and concerns and all of that. Like our job is to get into their world and be of service for people. So, you know, the law of averages says that it takes anywhere from about four to six exposures to get somebody from an introduction to um, getting them to sign up for the team. So one of the most important things to get about this whole process is that the fact that it takes time and the fact that it takes multiple exposures is actually a really good thing. And your job is to be a professional and be an educator and just be with them as they go through the process. Right? Because what happens is you build relationships with them, you build trust with them, so that when they make the decision to come on board, they believe in the process, they believe in you, and they've done their due, their, they've done their due diligence, and they've been exposed to the business in the right way. Okay, so expect four to six exposures, sometimes more, sometimes less, right? That's where we get that range. Um, all ex all follow-ups should be done within 24 to 48 hours. People lose their, they, they lose possibility very quickly. So if they've seen a, uh, a video or they've been to an event or they've been, have had an interaction and they're fired up, um, they will lose that enthusiasm very quickly. Inspiration is something that comes up very quickly and it tends to fade very quickly. So you want to, as they say, strike while the iron is hot. So between 24 and 48 hours, otherwise you will just um, not be at the forefront of their mind anymore. And during the follow-up process, it's really about cultivating relationships and, and being in front of them as much as possible so that they, you can, you can um, make an impression on them, as they say. So uh, along with the follow-up process, you want to send the person um, information and you want to set up three-way calls. And um, the best way to do that is, again, in progression. So invite, and then a third-party tool, and then a third-party tool, and then some sort of presentation or a three-way call with your upline. And um, allow your sponsor, whoever it is, your coach, or whoever you're working with, to um, demonstrate how to guide somebody through to a decision. Whether they choose to um, join your team or not, it's the same, the same process. Um, so again, taking a step back a little bit the process is really the key when it comes to follow-up and it's about your posture and how you approach these people that's going to make the biggest difference for them so remember it's always about edification which means um, edifying your upline or your coach or or whoever the speaker is at the event that, that you're going to and making sure that when your person shows up to whatever the event is or whatever the case may be, they show up with a very positive frame of reference when it comes to the person that's presenting, right? So as soon as the presenter comes on stage, they're speaking into a particular listening for them already, right? People are inspired by who they are. It makes a huge difference. So it's about edification and it's about education. So the process of follow-up is all about education. You introduce somebody to what you're doing, you educate them a number of times, and then at the end of that process, you can, you can say, based on what you've seen, you know, would you be willing to get started? or something along those lines. So the, the proper sequence of, an ex, of, of exposures is the initial contact. And we've talked a lot about this on, on, uh, on our program. And that is, it should be a casual 
a casual conversation in which um, you get very curious about what the other person's up to. You get into their world. You find out. You know. You form them, as um, Steve Herschek says in uh, one of our training videos. You form them. You find out their family, their occupation, what they do for fun, and you learn as much about them as you can. And then, you know, what will happen is they'll do the same in return with you. And so you can explain them to what you're up to, what you do for fun, and you can explain them, explain to them about this new uh, world, regardless of, you know, what your circumstance is, this entrepreneurial project that you're very excited about. And, um, you know, they'll ask you some questions about that probably, and you can say, look, now's probably not the right time, but why don't I send you some information that tells you a little bit about more um, about what I do, and then I can follow up with you um, in a couple of days, and, and you can tell me what you think. Would that be something that interests you? And they say yes. So at that point, you either send them your website and have them take a health assessment, or you send them the um, the, the new um, "This Is Usana" video, or um, whatever third-party tool that it, that you like to use. Um, you use that tool, and you you send that to them. And after that, you do the, you know, you use the follow-up process that we've been using in terms of, you know, if I sent you the video right now, when would you realistically be able to watch it by, get their time commitment, make that follow-up call. Um, if you're very new to the business, get your, get your coach to make that call with you. And the, the point of that is not, the point of that is to be of service to the person who's looking at this business. So if they have questions, they get them answered. And if you're someone who's not really in a position to answer those questions, you want to have, A, you want to have somebody who can answer those questions, and B, it shows posture that you're able to bring an expert with you on the conversation and make sure that the, the person who's looking at the products or the business, whatever the situation may be, feels cared for and they feel looked after and they feel like they've gotten a very, very, very good customer service experience. Um, after that call, they might have some lingering concerns or questions, whatever the case may be, in which case you invite them to a live presentation or a online webinar or some, side, some sort of event that's going to be like the culmination of your interactions with them. and. Um, after they've been to the event, you set a final um, three-way call or um, sit down over coffee or whatever the case may be with your coach and you go through the final um, session where um, you're the person, the, the coach that you're working with helps, helps guide them to a decision. And um, what that allows your coach to do is actually use all of the multiple exposures that have come before, figure out what that person's particular hot button is, what it is they're looking for, the stuff they're dealing with their life. And in that final conversation, you can actually say, look, if I were to show you a way where you could make the, the money that you're looking for in a particular time frame, or you could spend more time with your kids without affecting what you're already doing, or you know, you could develop a side business um, that you've always wanted to do without compromising the job that you already have, is there anything else that would be in the way of you making a uh, decision? or something along those lines. But that's the proper sequence of the exposures. So um, get out there, set it up. Um, if you have any questions or anything, again, leave some comments below or leave them on the Facebook page. And uh, I look forward to next week as we, as we continue to uh, flush the process out.